the camera is giving me no favors right now. Because fall is here, also I have a ton of new makeup to play with. Actually, that's such a lie. I don't even have a ton of new makeup. I have a bit of new makeup to play with, so I figured I would do a video on that and like show you guys. But there are so many launches that are out right now that I want to buy. The new Dior foundation, want it. New Dior contour, want it. Matter of fact, I saw it in LA, didn't get it like an idiot. And now I want it because I saw a TikTok video and somebody was talking about it. Also, I can't decide if I like or hate this top, but it's from Zara and I really wanted it horribly bad. Uh, so I bought it. Anyways, I also have content coming from LA. I have an LA vlog. I have a vlog before LA that's coming. And then I'm filming this video today and then another one for perfume, fall perfume. So I'm getting the content up, okay? I have been fighting for my life as far as breakouts go because look at my skin. Do you ever see my skin looking like this? No, not these days. I don't know what's going on. Also, we hear a jingling. It's my freaking, it's these. It's giving ASMR. Anyway, first product, I always start with my brows done. I clearly don't have my brows done right now, but I got this. I went, Whenever I was in LA, I mel met with the Milk makeup team and they told me about this and I had never heard anybody talk about it and I don't understand why. It's the Milk Makeup Kush High Roll Brow Tint and it, she was like, oh, it's a tubing brow tint and I was just thinking to myself, that sounds crazy, honestly. Sounds a little uh, terrifying. If you have a tubing mascara, washes off with warm water, right? Like adds the pigment, adds the length, and washes off with warm water. I never thought about that for your brows. So then I tried it and I was terrified and I thought, dear God, this is gonna be terrible. I'm just like, I tried it actually before the shower because I had such low hopes and you know how it is, like pre-shower makeup. This is so freaking good. I need a different color. I have the shade Dutch, which actually I'm the one who picked out. It was not the right shade for me. But like, this is what the bristle looks like. So it just has like these tiny little spikes and then it deposits color onto your brows and gives you an insane hold. But it like, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know, like just watch, okay? And then it just holds your freaking brows up. It's so good. I don't understand. And I use this one to like get the color and then I use the Rare Beauty to set it because I don't want them sticking straight up but I want the color from this one and like the volume that it gives my brows. I don't know, I feel like if you don't wanna fill in your eyebrows and you just want like every little hair that you have accentuated, this is so good for that. So I will have this link down below. I would love to get my right shade in that because it is such a good product. Then I go over that with the Rare Beauty, what is this called? Flexible Lifting Gel. I had this, like they sent it to me in PR forever and I never used it. And then one day I used it and I was like, why on God's green earth have I not been using that every single time I do my eyebrows? You know what? I can't talk into this. So give me a minute. Anyway, live, life, love this one. Because if you want a really good strong hold, but you don't want like the crustiness or how hard the Anastasia Beverly Hills is, how hard it makes your eyebrows, this was this is a really good option. And it's also pretty affordable um, compared to the other ones. Also, side note. I think I talked about this in my other video, but under my eyes and around my eyes is so red because I've been using the Rodin and Fields eyelash serum. And you know how they say like, oh, if you use certain serums, it makes your eyes like really irritated and stuff. Well, let me tell you, if I use Babe Lash, it doesn't really happen, but I woke up and my eyes were so freaking red. And I think that's what it's from, which makes me really sad because it makes my eyelashes grow inches, literally. The foundation that I've been live, laugh, loving for a thousand years, House Labs. We already know her. We already love her. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know if it's going to be a good shade for me, but we're rolling with it. I wore this every day that I was in LA, and it's just so good. If you need more coverage, obviously you can use a brush. I've just been using my sponge to get like a sheer glow, but do whatever your heart desires. Those spots are literally just not covering up. I think what happened was I did too many chemical pills on my skin. I got back to back like weekly bio repills and I was told that I could do that, but I don't think my skin knew that I was allowed. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do for the, those spots, I need to get a darker color in this, honestly. This is the House Labs concealer. It's still my favorite concealer, but pro tip, if you have spots you wanna cover up, but you don't wanna add coverage to the rest of your face, if you use the concealer of the same consistency, so if it's like silicone based, use silicone based. If it's water based, use water based, etc. I'm going to use this concealer, let this sit for a hot minute, and then come back and do the rest. We're like, pat it in. I'm also going to use a brush. I'm going to use the Mario. I think this is the F4. All of the numbers are rubbed off of it, which is a sign of good use. But anyways, 
These are the new products that I was going to use today. Everybody and their mothers coming out with a powder. Makeup by Mario just came out with a powder. The whole drama with the Givenchy powder is going down at the moment. Uh, that does break my heart because the Givenchy powder is so good and everybody and their mom loved it. But Makeup Forever came out with these. I don't know if they're talc free. I want to say that they're not because it doesn't say anything about being talc free. Um, which is extremely comedogenic. So that does scare me to put on my skin. But this is what it looks like. So they sent me three different shades. This is the shade... 2.1 medium neutral. This is the shade Corrective Rose. So I think this one's going to be most similar to the Givenchy Prism Libre powder that's like in the shade Violet Rose or whatever it is. It's like a pinker shade. This one's more yellow tone. And then we have one down here that's lavender. And I remember Jaclyn Hill posting about a lavender one forever ago. But I think for the sake of my skin tone, I am going to go with the rose one. I don't think lavender is going to do me any, any favors. This is what it looks like. The packaging slays. I'm not going to say a lot to you. These little puffs are so good and then it has this that's how you get the product out i don't know it's giving innovative and i'm excited to use it i feel like anytime that i use a powder to lock in my makeup my makeup always looks really good so i am excited look at that yeah anyway i'm excited to see how it looks how it wears pray to god it doesn't break me out like my skin was so broken out whenever i was in la and then i ended up going to wisconsin after and i was like my skin does not look like this since, I don't remember the last time my skin looked like that. It was irritated as heck. It was not slaying, not the vibe. I did my makeup by Mario. Also side note, I did purchase the Rode blushes and I do love them. I feel like the packaging is a little annoying. Like it's so cute, yes, and like whatever, but it's annoying as freak because it's just fat, you know? Like it's just fat, it sits in your makeup bag, it like rolls around, I don't know. But I want the shade Toasted Teddy because, is that it? Toasted Teddy? I think so. Because it looks so good. And it's got like the red terracotta undertone. I feel like that'll look so good on my skin. But right now I'm getting pale. I'm getting pale. I need a spray tan, which makes me want to cry. Also, I purchased the Tennille J. If you don't know who that is, I've talked about her before. She's an Australian makeup artist. I purchased her brushes from Revolve because I've wanted them forever. Now that, listen, I'm a ride or die for these brushes. Matter of fact, side note, I also saw Ariel in Nordstrom at the Grove. And I was coming down the escalator and he was like walking through Nordstrom. And I was like, sir, I didn't get to talk to him because he was like walking fast. And then he left. And I didn't want to like yell at him and be like, come over here. I love your guts. So I let him walk, unfortunately. Stupidest decision of my life. But anyways. Um, oh, by the way, this is what I'm using. The Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Medium. Yeah, just medium. Anyways. I love these brushes and I've had them since high school, okay? Like I've had these brushes for a hot minute. It's not like I've just been buying new makeup brushes all the time. Matter of fact, I don't even like buying new makeup brushes. It's not something that I live life love for because who the frig wants to buy makeup brushes? They're just expensive. Anyways, long story short, actually I guess it's not short, but I bought the brushes from Danielle J. I want them so bad. One of my friends who's a makeup artist, Beck, it's made by Beck on Instagram is her handle. She was telling me that she loves her brushes and she was like, as far as they go, or as far as brushes go, these are like the Ferrari of makeup brushes. And that just immediately told me. I said, count me in. I want that, you know? And I bought them and they came in the mail yesterday and I played with them this morning, like just on my hand. I didn't dip them into any makeup. But I'm trying to be fiscally responsible because I'm like, nothing's wrong with these brushes. But then I'm like, this is my job. So I'm trying, I'm trying to decide basically. Do I want to keep the brushes? Do I want to send them back? Because $178 is a whole lot of money to spend on brushes. But also, the Makeup by Mario. I'm going to have to get new ones soon anyways. And I'm like, do I just get new Makeup by Mario ones? Do I keep the Tennille ones and just say, hey, it's okay? I don't know. Also, I feel like this is not blending out. Like, can you guys see me any better? I turned on one of the, like, these lights. By the way, if you don't have these from Amazon and you do any sort of content, these are so slay. They keep the charge for, I feel like, a pretty good while. Yeah, that looks a thousand times better. Anyways, I feel like this is not blending out the way that I want it to, so. People love this, and I just don't know that I can get it to work for me the way that I want it to. I want it to blend seamlessly, and it is not giving, it's not giving seamless. It's giving, you have to work for it. Like I said, I'm filming a perfume video after this, but this literally just came in the mail. I have another one coming today, the Guerlain Tobacco Honey, so I'm so excited. I don't know why they shipped it in 72 different boxes, but this is Tiziana Terenzi. This is Cassiopeia. And I don't know why they didn't send me the box. I, I even was so excited just to get the box. Because usually there's a little spotlight and it shines up on the perfume. Oh wait, I have it the wrong way. 
like how gorgeous and this is heavy like it's a niche luxury perfume it smells divine i'm gonna sit here and lie to you it's an italian perfume we love tiziana terenzi but like be for real why am i like that's the packaging that i get i could get that with a i don't know hundred dollar perfume anyway going in with the og elf halo glow in the shade five medium tan or five something i don't know it's just five i use this mixed with for the love of god the charlotte tilbury contour wand and this is the light medium shade i do think my skin doesn't really like this i'm gonna be honest with you but i don't know it works for me minus it kind of breaking me out i don't know i just can't find a freaking contour that i love right now and again to nail j she came out with one one it's so bad but her brand is from australia her new bronzer contour things aren't on revolve yet and they're 68 dollars 68 dollars okay for a bronze or like slash contour that's one ounce i just think that's astronomical even for me and i can justify just about anything and then you have to pay for shipping to the u.s from australia and i just i don't know so i texted again beck who loves to j as well and i was like are you gonna buy these and she was like i don't know are you and i was like well i was really hoping that you were going to since you're the makeup artist and you were gonna let me know how they are so we'll see. See how pretty that looks? How glowy and just bronzery and gorgeous it is. I'm still trying to get used to filming here at my apartment rather than like obviously whenever I started YouTube and TikTok and everything. I was at my parents' house. And the lighting here low-key sucks. Like, it just sucks. I only get good lighting in the mornings in this room. And then this is the only room with big windows. So, and I literally made one room, like the closet room for filming but you don't get any freaking lighting in there and i'm like i'm not gonna sit in here in the dark and do my makeup okay next up i'm back on the train of victoria beckham um her makeup actually i never left the train i just forgot about the bronzers that i had till i saw somebody using them everything this woman comes out with everything she touches is pure gold this is the shade two Ugh, this is the prettiest the prettiest bronzer i love it so much i know that it's pricey so if you're like tbh i'm not spending that then the sigma um bronzer that i've talked about a billion times is also phenomenal but if you're like i really wanted an amazing bronzer and i don't care to splurge a little then this one is so 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 good it blend, blends seamlessly it's just a luxurious experience too like it weighs so much it has freaking tortoise and gold packaging if i came out with stuff this is the kind of vibe that it would be but not makeup you know Anyway, live, life, love, Victoria Beckham. Also, side note, if you haven't seen her documentary or like her show, actually, I think it's literally just called Beckham. And obviously it focuses more on David and his career, but David wouldn't have the things that he has if he didn't date Posh Spice and if he didn't marry Posh Spice. So let's be real. Okay, for blush, I have been mixing two, which I'll show you all. They're my typical brush blushes, but still, I've been mixing Patrick Tosh, she's blushing and she's blushed. So, oh my Lord. These are the two. This is She's Blushing. This is She's Flushed. You would think that they're the same, but they're not. This one pulls a little bit more neutral. This one's a little bit more warm. Listen, I don't have to justify myself to you. You know. You know the vibes. You start with the powder first. Work it up on the cheekbones. I do love a lot of blush. I just think that it's pretty. It's the first to go. It's gorgeous. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my, not, well, I guess this is considered concealer, but this would be like the concealer step. I'm going to use my Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener in the shade Light Medium. Yes. You guys know I love this stuff so much. I've gone through multiple of these. Could not live without it. Everything I try on my under eyes, I'm like, yeah, it's good. The Rare Beauty is better. Always, always, always blend it in with my F4. There's just something about this product. I don't know what they put in it. I hope that they never, ever, ever, ever um stop making this but anyway i was gonna set it with a powder because it's giving full glam funny story yesterday i got these powders out and i was playing with them I'm literally sitting on the floor and like chase was trying to fix this freaking thing over here one of the drawers is broken i don't love ikea for that reason like yeah you can get cheap furniture but it's, you get cheap furniture and it works for the time being but like you know but anyways I was opening them and I was telling him about it. And he was like, oh, is that for like full glam? And I'm like, okay, now that I have that set, 
Ew, not the crust. Now that I have that, like not set, but now that I have it blended out, I'm gonna go in now, very quickly, with the corrective rose shade and press it in and we're gonna see how it looks. I am nervy, I'm nervy. Oh, mother of God. I just freaking got that everywhere. No, 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 no. It does go back in, which I like that, so that's nice. So you don't have to like worry about all the powder getting out everywhere. It goes back in the holes because the holes are so freaking big. So I guess there's pros and cons. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna warm that up in my hand. It does look really pretty, so that's why I'm thinking that it's gonna be, and I'm gonna press it in. The only thing about powder is I feel like powder makes you feel so. It's giving glam. It's giving blurred pores. I'll tell you that much. Hmm. Okay, slay. Okay. What are y'all's thoughts? I'm also gonna do, like, cut my cheekbones because I feel like that always looks really good. If you set your face like that. I feel like I do look very matte, but I feel like that's also the point. Then whenever I add, like, the creams back on top, it'll look really good. Like, add my cream blush back on top and probably hit my face with a little, little dusting of bronzer. Just to, like, give me some color back. But I feel like that looks really good. And I'm looking in the mirror. And it looks really nice. So let me put a little bit of blush. Cream blush back on top. And form my opinion. But right now. It's slaying. I would say that it's really comparable. To the Givenchy. I feel like the Givenchy might be a little bit more brightening. Like a little bit more of a rose shade. It's very pink. If you have the Givenchy one. It is pink whenever you put it on. Um. And this one's more of like a neutrally pink. I'm anxious to see what Chase says. Because usually if I have like full glam, he's like, oh, it's makeup -y. Not like in a bad way, but you know. It looks really good. It looks like poreless, flawless. I mean, like it looks good. There's no denying that. So I'm also going to go in with this. This is also still available if you're interested. I mean, mine looks like it's been through the ringer because, well, let's be honest, it has. But the shades are absolutely stunning and gorgeous. So this is available still on my website for the time being. And I go into all the shades for every time. Like I do my makeup, I go into all the shades and pop it on the top of my cheeks. I'm also gonna take my sponge, wherever it is, to lock it all together. Cause I feel like that might help it being, not necessarily like matte, but for eyes, the entire time I was in LA, I used this palette and I just kind of fell in love with it. I know that it's expensive, so don't come at me, but this is the Tom Ford Creme, no. De La Creme. This is 28. Any Tom Ford eyeshadows, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, they're absolutely worth it. They are just the best of the best. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it, but they are. Anyways, look at this. If it'll focus. They are just so good. They blend so seamlessly. I've talked endlessly about the Honeymoon palette. It's gorgeous. Um, but I mix the top two shades, and I'm just gonna run that over my eyes. I'm actually not trying to go so glam, but I do want like a little, like I can't have a matte face and then just nothing on my eyes. So I'm just gonna mix the top sh two shades that are the more shimmery shades and put that on my lid. Another Victoria Beckham product that I literally can't live without. This is the o shade Oyster and this is her little long wear crease proof eyeshadow stick. And I always put it in the corners of my eyes. I just, I don't ever think that inner eye highlight is gonna go out of style and if it does, <laughs> take me with it, you know? Okay, and this is very Victoria Beckham happy angle, not to you. But this is the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Liner in the shade Cinnamon. It is just the prettiest brown color. I actually need to sharpen this. But it's it's kind of just, yeah, a dark cinnamony shade. It's like a warm brown with a little bit of bronzy shimmer in it. It's stunning, honestly. And it's super easy to blend out. So I have just been taking this on the top of my lash line. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see the shade. See how it's like a little bit of shimmer in it? Man, I look, look crazy doing that. And then I take the other side 
which is like such an OG, like this is like a L'Oreal kind of thing, and blend it out, like I just smudge it. I feel like this, no, I don't feel like it does bring definition to the top of your lash line. It makes your lashes look thicker, which I'm all about. Pretty. You can drag it out if you want. I feel like that's a very slight thing to do. I love doing that. Oops. And you can just drag it out with the other side too. Kind of smudge it so it's not like a perfect... You're not going for like perfect wing, just smudged wing, you know? Lash line too. I'm gonna put it in my upper water line. I can't wait for whenever it's like, I mean, it's cooler in the morning, so it's not like cool all throughout the day, but I can't wait till it's cool all throughout the day and then like cold in the evenings. And we watch Harry Potter. I, I watched Molly May's vlog part of hers this morning and she was saying the same thing. She was like, I wanna watch Harry Potter. Like it just, it's, it's that season, you know? I've got to do my lips before I do my freaking eyes because I'm tired of looking at myself like this. I'm gonna take Deep Taupe from Charlotte Tilbury. No, this is not Charlotte Tilbury, this is Anastasia. Cute. And then I'm gonna go in with the Fawn Strawberry Recovery Glow Lip Oil. I still feel like I'm missing a little color, you know? And I'm like, do I wanna put a cream like, there's clearly color on my face. I just feel like I'm, like, so mad that it's almost like, I don't know. I'm just not used to seeing myself with this much powder, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, curl my lashes again with the Shiseido. Is that right? Babe, come look at my face. Yeah, I'm filming, but you can come look at my face. Because in the camera, it looks so matte, but does it look co like I have color on? Yeah. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. On that camera? Yeah. It looks matte. That's what I'm saying, but does it look like I don't have any color? Like, I wanted my blush to be glowy. It is or glowy. It's red. Red? Like, you know, like, you can tell there's a different shade. Look. Yeah, you don't take a picture. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, you can see. See? No, no, take, delete that immediately. I'm not saying that. Anyway. Anyways. Yeah. I'm going to take that box to advanced and go get like an energy drink or something because I finished my paper and turned it in. Will you get me one? What do you want? A Diet Coke in a bottle and also a Dream Float. Are you going to um that one over here? The one over by. Is that the one you're going to? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have my makeup brushes sitting on the top of it. Oh, okay. But yeah, I was yeah. sitting here filming and I was talking about why I got the makeup brushes and I made myself want them again. I figured that would happen. But you can just put them in the box. You know where the tape is? Yeah, but it's already taped up. And you can just, just look at it. Just keep when you take it back in another box. No, I can't. Order. I have to send it back in that with that order. You actually don't want them? I guess not. Do you like this shirt? Obviously not with these pants, but I'm filming. But do you like this shirt? Yeah. Or do you think it's like, meh? I mean, like, it's not like my favorite shirt you've ever worn, but I like it. <laughs> I don't mean... It's not. Yeah, that was... It's not mine either. Oh, was it? Yeah. Did you talk to him? No, he, te he texted me and said that I waved at you. No. I want a bottle because I'm not going to drink the whole thing. You know how I do. I'll drink it for three days. Okay. Love you. Okay, anyways. Unfortunately, this mascara is Chanel. Unfortunately, it's $40. It might be more, actually. It was $40 back in the day when I was in high school. But I don't know how much it is now, honestly. Anyways, it's phenomenal. This is a Le Volume Day Chanel. I know at some point in my channel, I've talked about it before. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but it's stupid good. Again, you're looking to splurge. Like, yes, I have long eyelashes, but not every mascara makes my long eyelashes look really stunning and long. Like, sometimes it looks clumpy or, like, just not the bob. So, this, very, very, very slay. I have this little freaking patch right here that's shorter than the rest. And they're, like, fighting for their lives. So, I'm going to 
do two coats like I normally do, but I'm trying to like maneuver these so it'll stop looking stupid. Cause it's got a big old gap right there. Hey. Yeah. Uh, Anna Claire. Okay. No, you're good, baby. Thank you. You guys, that's the first time I've ever filmed a YouTube video in front of him. <laughs> We're like moving up. We're literally gonna be married. So I figured I had to start filming in front of my husband, you know? I go, hey, like as if he doesn't know that I film in my room. As if he is unaware that like, this is my job. Talking to a camera. And I'm like over here embarrassed about it. Anyways, I'm proud of myself. Yeah, this mascara is phenomenal, but like it's my freaking eyelashes over here being stupid. Not him saying that's not my favorite shirt you you own. <laughs> he literally said, "Yeah, I like it. It's just not. It's not my favorite shirt you own." Mmm. So you ate it. Okay, let's also add some bottom lash mascara. As one does, I'm taking my tweezer and lashes and separating my freaking lashes or my fr fr my tweezer and tweezers. Okay, so. I think that's the final look. I think. I'm... I don't know how I feel. I feel like I need a little bit more like brown or like... Uh, eyeshadow under my eyes. So I think I'm going to do that. Just as like a final touch. And then be done. Hopefully. Same two shades I used earlier on my top lashes. I'm just going to use on my top... Like my eyelid. I'm just going to use on the bottom. Then drag it across. Also, did I say earlier, I don't think I did, maybe I did, I don't know, that I got the Canon Juso next, and I'm so freaking excited to use it. It's supposed to come today. Um, a girl actually that followed me on Instagram saw me post about it, and she was like, hey, I have one if you want to buy it. And then she sold it to me, and I'm hoping, obviously, that like everything goes well, and it slays, and I love it. Okay, slay. Okay, so what I think my final analysis, let me turn this off too and see if it helps. Whoa, that made such a big difference. Weird. Anyways, so my final analysis of this, I'm gonna turn this back on. My final analysis of this is that my face is so matte and I'm so not used to seeing my face matte that I feel like it's gonna look a whole lot better whenever some oil starts to peek through and it'll look really pretty and like lived in and glowy. My favorite makeup looks always are like a few hours in the day. My skin's a little glowy, looks better, etc. you know? So, yeah. But anyways, that's a makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll have everything used linked down below. And now I'm going to film a fall perfume video. So, stay tuned.